Hey Divas, Kaden here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in good spirit because guess what? Your girl is going home. I've been in the hospital for like nine days now and they told me that yes, I can go home today. So I'm just waiting for them to come and do what they got to do before I leave. So the thing is, I haven't been posting, you know, I have this little series called Chef It Up Friday, so I haven't posted in the past, for the past two weeks. I don't know when I'm going to post again any cooking videos because I won't be able to like stand up and cook and all that because I did, I had to go to the OR like twice. I did some surgeries on my foot. Um... No, my, I didn't have a broken leg or anything. I just got a... I don't know how to explain it. I just got bitten by something. They say something like a spider bite. I don't know what, but it turned out to be major. So I had to be hospitalized. It was infected. I could barely walk. And it's been crazy. I need to go home. I miss my girls. And I know they miss me too. So I'm here. I was just watching some YouTube videos. And then I said, let me take my camera out and start recording because I haven't recorded anything for YouTube since I've been here because I wasn't feeling good. This is the best of me. I was in so much pain. I had to be on pain meds, on antibiotics. Um, and all of that so because I did surgery I have like I don't know they call it wounds they had to cut my foot cut apart yeah they didn't amputate my legs <laughs> but they did I have some cuts I have actually it's so funny it's my t it's both my foot so I have to use a walker or a I have to be on crutches but I rather to use the walker so this is um actually this is my walker right next to my bed and those are my crutches this is my little table it's messy and all they they brought me lunch so this is my lunch my water jello and all that that's my phone it's my computer I've been working as I said not working but watching videos so this is what I have for lunch. Let me show you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to eat it, but my phone is ringing, but I'll get to that when I'm done. Hold on, let me get this. So this is what I have for lunch. It's some ravioli and broccoli. I think I'm going to eat the broccoli, but I don't think I'm a fan of the ravioli. So I'm just going to eat the broccoli. Drink my Gatorade. I have some fruit cups over there. Some jello. My table is a little messy, but that's how it is. I can't really like move around, move around to get stuff done. Because the surgery was done on my foot. So I guess I'll update you guys further on in this video to tell you exactly what happened, how it happened. I don't know how it happened. I just know it happened and I went to the emergency room. Oh my god, look at my elbow. They're so ashy. I ended up in the emergency room, which turned out to be an hospital stay. And don't mind my face, I had an allergic reaction prior to me being hospitalized. So... Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys on this little journey packing up to go back home, which I'm excited about. And yeah, So guys, I know I told you earlier that I don't think I'm going to be eating this, but look at this. I devoured it. 
Look, everything is gone except for that red sauce. I ate that thing up. I was dying. I was so hungry because I didn't get the breakfast I ordered. So I didn't eat my breakfast. So I went ahead and I ate this off. It wasn't bad. Have you? I think it's my first time having it. It wasn't bad. The, the lady who is in charge in the cafeteria, the nutrition lady, she called me and was like, um, Miss Beckford, I realized that you're not eating the food and we have to ensure that you eat because you need to eat in order for you to recover and uh, I get that but look at my hand it looks so tiny so what she does she would call me like now it's lunch time so she would call me after dinner and then she'll say Miss Beckford what can we get you for breakfast tomorrow and I'll tell her then she said what for lunch tomorrow I tell her and then she said what for dinner and I tell her so they do that each day so I could at least eat something so yesterday for breakfast I didn't film my breakfast so breakfast they sent me some those cream cheese and all yogurt jello apple juice but the thing is because i customize my meals i told them i need bagel for so every time i get bagel for breakfast so because they didn't have any yogurt they didn't have any bagel because they said the truck didn't come so they sent me that toast i didn't eat it so that's why i ate up my lunch because i was so hungry i couldn't believe it i was so hungry and because my husband is supposed to be here today to pick me up he's supposed to be here at six because they're gonna show him what to do to my with my my legs to how to whatever what to do because he's going to be the one taking care of me basically when I'm at home, when I'm at home. so they're gonna have him here at six to show him what to do and then I'll have a follow-up on Monday to see how well I'm doing so based on how I'm doing Monday I can stay home if it gets worse which I hope not I guess they'll have to keep me back in the hospital I don't want that because you know it's Christmas I want to be around my girls for Christmas so as I said earlier I will be going home today I can't wait if I wasn't going home today, trust me, I don't know if it's stress or what, but I would be sleeping, just sleeping, 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 sleeping all day. The only time I'll be partially up is when they come in to give me my meds or do my vitals, but I will just sleep, sleep, sleep away or I, I even turn my TV on and don't even watch it. That's how much I sleep. And sometimes I'll, I'll ask the nurses, um... Is this supposed to make me sleepy? They're like, no. So I don't know. Just sleep. I get stress. My lips are dry. My hands are ashy. My feet are ashy. <laughs> Everything is ashy. I haven't had a bath in like nine days, to be exact. <clears throat> I do freshen up, yes, but I can't take a shower because of me being in the hospital for what reason i can't take a shower i have to use like those warm wipes and do like a sponge bath so they say i can't take a shower i don't know when i'll be able to so guys let me tell you something last year for the past couple of christmas we did have a christmas tree last year we planned we planned on traveling and on our way to the airport I found out that me and my daughter my oldest daughter had COVID so I was like okay we can't go any further we have to stop somewhere so we stopped at an, at an hotel um, I said I'm gonna I have to confirm this stop at an hotel at that time I was breastfeeding we stopped at the hotel after we stopped at the next day we went to an urgent care 
to redo the COVID test. When we did the test, me, my two, me and my two daughters have the virus, the, the C. So, my husband, he was negative. We had to go. So I told them from when I started having the symptoms because I had the symptoms, but I didn't know I have. I didn't know it was the virus. So we went back to the hotel. We didn't take room service or anything. We just put a do not disturb on our room door. So we would just call for fresh towels and stuff, and I will ask for some maps and stuff. Just clean the room myself, lights all down, everything. I do the old nine yard. Um, we stayed there like for a week after a week we went back to do redo the test I because my daughter was under two um, I did the test my husband did and my daughter guess what I was negative my daughter was still positive and my husband was positive so we came to the assumption oh maybe i gave it to my daughter but where did i get it because at first i was like maybe my daughter gave it to me from school anyways we just head straight up just hit the road came back home as i said we didn't have a christmas tree so we had to go shopping so we got them some gifts for christmas because we didn't we didn't buy anything because we were gonna be away so basically we didn't buy them any gift so we went ahead buy them some gifts and then this year we did not buy a Christmas tree because we plan on traveling again <laughs> we did buy their their gifts but not a Christmas tree now this happened I cannot travel so guess what we're on the hunt for a Christmas tree and you know the main reason why I really want to get that Christmas tree because I asked my youngest daughter a while back I was like because you know Christmas is coming you're gonna ask your kids because my kids I can ask them what do you want for Christmas and they can tell me so I don't have to you know go out, go and buy all the I just buy what they they what should I say I just buy what they need I don't buy what they want or do no unnecessary spending because they can tell me what they want so I'm gonna get them what they want so I was like, um, Abrana, what do you want for Christmas? And she was like, I want a Christmas tree. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. We weren't going to get a Christmas tree because we were going to travel to my friend. She has a Christmas tree, so that wouldn't work. Because basically we wouldn't be here for Christmas. So now we're going to have to try and get a Christmas tree and do some little decorations around the house. Yes. I want to get that Christmas tree. Even even if we get like a tiny one, I want to get a Christmas tree. So she can get a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, but we got them the main gifts they wanted. So I guess my husband is have to go gonna go ahead and do some more little knick snack shopping for them because I don't think I can really go anywhere. So, yeah, and he's home with the girls, taking good care of them too. Put my daughter in the bus every day, pick her up. The only thing he can't do is comb their hair. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm grateful. <sighs> yeah. So, when I'm getting ready to leave, I'm going to do a little video getting ready to leave the hospital and all. It's...
face since I've been home. So I just want to come in camera and tell you guys that I'm feeling good. I went and did a checkup yesterday. So now I just want to open some packages because I came home. This is from Bath and Body Works. You girl did some shopping before she left. It was on sale and this is a package that was sent to me. So I'm, all I have to do is just review this package. So I'm going to go ahead and open these. So this package is from Influencer and what I got in 